let me tell you a story. The best stories start by announcing their occurrence in a land far, far away. But where better to escape than to a place many distances removed from your own? But for a fisherman, such as ours here, all land is far away, and after chasing whatever there is to chase at sea, the only land he seeks is the land of home. After all, home is where the heart is, a glorious kingdom accentuating the bewitching realities of love and happiness. Feelings of passion, of course, make a traveler's road a little less bleak, and this fisherman is no different. In this way, the time gone by seems immaterial, replaced with the ever-expanding horizon of a glorious future or so on hopes. At long last, journey's end. And just as he'd expected, his one true love has prepared a feast fit for a... <laughs> Commodore. Commodore, the very, the very essence of what one fisherman might refer to as a scoundrel. Trying desperately to temper his outrage, the fisherman requests a dignified aside with his one true love. It's commonly thought that all's fair in love at sea, and now it seems it isn't at all. Really? He couldn't take this lying down. He hadn't endured deadly seas to be overtaken by a scoundrel in uniform. He'll fight for what's right, a duel, even if it may be the last thing he does. You want to duel with me? You heard me. I didn't stutter. My dear, it's a very risky business. Very risky. Duel, yes or no? No burden is heavier than the weight of the world, and for the fisherman, wow, well, this may be his heaviest haul yet. This is quite a climax you've appropriated. Are you sure this is what you want? I appreciate you taking this seriously. I can be a good sport. Remember, first one wounded goes out to sea and never returns. Tell us when. All right, 10 paces. No double strides. Starting now. And so it would seem that while her affections had wandered, 
she was not without heart, and the fisherman was back in the arms of his one true love. <laughs>